Hey, what's going on guys? It is Raj here, and today we are going to be covering um, iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 1, I believe it is. Let me double check here. Let's see here. So it's actually iOS 13.3 Developer Beta 2, if you guys were curious. So now I'm going to show you guys here how much storage this took up, just because it already downloaded for some reason. So let me just uh, scroll through all my pictures here and... Um, might take a second, just because, uh, it's probably further up here. Actually, no, it's not. It's down here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, I know it is here. <laughs> so, give me just one second to find it. I know it's here. That's for sure. Let's see. Here it is. I'm just blind. Okay, so it is, as you can see here, 286.6 megabytes. So, um, not really that hefty in terms of storage. Um, but, uh, we are anyways going to download it, so, um, once this installs, I will be right back. Alrighty guys, we are now back on iOS 13.3 Developer Beta 1, so, uh, now let's, um, take a look at what has changed. I'm also, before I, uh, show you guys that, I'm gonna show you guys here the, um, like how the battery has been doing really and i have to say battery life has been pretty decent actually so um that is something that i will take note of also um the fact that obviously yes this is still at 84 percent capacity but as you can see here yeah battery life has actually not been that terrible so um that is a good thing to report about uh ios 13.2 for um that software at least the battery life has been pretty decent um, so that is um, one good thing. Now, I will show you guys also what has changed via the feedback app here, because obviously there is um, some notes here. So, some new features, as you can see here, it contains top-level domains, TLDs such as dev and apps are now um, foundation. It's just a bunch of security stuff, really. So, actually what has really changed, though, in Safari especially, is now there's support for NFC, USB-C, and Lightning. Uh, security keys in Safari. So if you guys don't know what those are, don't really bother. They're just um, sort of um, for uh, people who know what those are. But other than that, I mean, performance actually, I have to say now, just like swiping through the menus and everything, I mean, it's pretty snappy and smooth already like coming into this software. So that's good to see there. And looks like that was a success there actually running this um, shortcut here. The first time I uh, sort of rebooted into this software. So it looks like um, shortcut reliability is actually slightly better, if not really better actually, because um, in the past iOS versions now, at least especially on 13, I've noticed that the shortcut would crash a lot. Now, that does not seem to be the case actually. I'm not seeing, well, apart from that, I was not seeing any crashes whatsoever. So looks like definitely something in terms of maybe the RAM management has definitely gotten better. So that is actually good to see right there that the shortcut is fast and uh, responsive. Um, so that is good news. Um, so, looks like actually that's all really that is brand new in this um, beta. So actually, let's do one real quick test here. Let's launch some apps. So App Store is pretty quick. That's good news. I'm gonna update all these apps, why not? Oh, looks like the um, that's uh, kind of nice here. Looks like CBS, the CBS Sports app got dark mode, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what other um, things got dark mode here. If there's any, doesn't look like really much else. Yeah. So looks like everything for the most part is um, pretty nice actually. So that's good to see there. Let's um, just launch a few more apps. Let's oh I don't know launch Instagram maybe. Let's see Snappy. How about Snapchat? <laughs> yeah, pretty snappy, I would say. Let's just close out both of those. Alright, let's now launch... Let's see... Let's launch... Uh, calendar. Snappy. Calculator is fast. Okay, let's see. What else can we launch here? Let's launch YouTube. Alright, good response time, I'd have to say. Alright, now... Um, that we are obviously also testing all of this. Let's run a Geekbench. Why not? Let's just see if the uh, scores here at all improved. 
Now, um, I would be uh, quite surprised if they did, but we'll see here what Geek Bench has to say. Now, obviously, this is not indicative of real-world performance. This is just telling you benchmarks, and sometimes this is also inaccurate, so keep that in mind. So sometimes it will um, not properly judge a device. So um, let's just test Geek Bench here, and this will only take maybe, like, what, a few minutes or so, um, and see how exactly this thing is performing. And from what it looks like right now, I mean, it's getting pretty far along already. So, I mean, that's a good sign right there that um, it is performing up to the standards it should be. So, um, anyways, though, obviously we still have quite a bit to go here. So, um, we will see um, throughout this test how um, well this can perform. So, it looks like here that it's not doing too terrible, actually, which is great news. So, it's getting there to at least about almost the halfway mark. I predict that it's probably going to get there around maybe minute 45 to 2 minutes, but we'll see. It might get there sooner. Because it is um, running through these tests, so that's good news that it's um, going at a decent pace. Actually, no, it might even get there, yeah, around like a minute 45 seconds, possibly. Or it might take about 2 minutes, or it might get at least there in the 2 minute mark about halfway. So I was close there with my uh, like initial prediction, about a minute um, and 45 actually. Yeah, you know what? That is uh, about a minute 40 actually, so I was a little bit off in terms of that, but I was close actually. Um, so it did not take two minutes. That's a shocker actually. So it looks like we are about halfway through, almost at the uh, two minute mark here, which is not terrible actually. So, um, Looks like we have about, I'd say, maybe another minute to a minute and a half. So around three minutes in total is probably going to be what it um, sort of does here in terms of um, performance here. Looks like it's running some image compression, navigation, all that sort of stuff. So it's, I'd say, going at a decent rate still. Let's see if it can speed things up here. All right, it's running HTML5. SQ Lite. Okay, it breezed through HTML5. That was a shocker. <laughs> it's running PDF rendering. Let's see. Yeah, these last few tests I'm pretty sure are more intensive than the rest. Clang. Hmm, that's new. <laughs> Never seen that before in Geekbench. Especially in Geekbench 4. Running camera. Okay. Let's see, looks like we are going to go probably past the 3 minute mark here onto the, um, or at least, well, we're going to be going onto the three minute mark here. It just reached three minutes. So, let's see, it might be around three minutes, 45 seconds, is what I'm guessing is going to be probably, um, what it is in terms of the final, uh, time. But it might even get onto four minutes, so who knows. It's probably going to go to 4 minutes, because it looks like it's going slightly slower, but we'll see. Because it's getting awfully close. See, it's running HDR. Come on, finish up with the HDR. <laughs> I mean, it is, after all, an HDR um, 10 display, so... It is taking a little bit on the HDR, but it's getting there. Alright, nice, running ray tracing. These are usually the more intensive tests. Nice, it did pretty well with ray tracing. Structure for motion. Yep, looks like I was right about the four minute mark. Which is still not too shabby. At least that's what I'm thinking right now, but we'll see. According to me, it shouldn't be that shabby. But we'll take a look here. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna probably reach about the four minute, uh, four and a half minute mark, roughly. Maybe even four minutes, 45 seconds. Which is, uh... It's not the best, but, I mean, it's decent, I'd have to say. Let's see. Looks like we are just about finished. It's now running speech recognition. Alright. Looks like we are... Come on, we're just about there. <laughs> it's that little, little bit of a sliver left. Okay, it's running machine learning, and it is done with a total time of 4 minutes and 50 seconds. So now it looks like we have a single core score of 534 and a multi core score of 10, 000, er, 1094. Well, I was about to say 10,000, what the heck. 
So, looks like my uh, phone, it's not exactly for the single core score, it's not exactly <laughs> on the um, 918 mark, so that's understandable. Let's see, and then now for the multi-core, yeah, so it's performing about half, but realistically, I mean, hey, it's at 15, it's at 15% and charging. So that's probably not accurate, just because, I mean, it is charging, so um, it does uh, need uh, to basically sort of uh, charge in terms of um, the battery, so the battery is probably what was um, actually slowing it down. So, um, that is, uh, basically some throttling going on there, but, I mean, overall, though, I have to say that the menus are, uh, pretty smooth, actually, so that is one thing I will say that is actually pretty good, um, about it. So, um, really, that's actually about it for these, um, beta videos. Or not beta videos, but beta, at least. This is, that's about it for this beta. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please be... Yeah, please be sure to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe. Um, if you're brand new, uh, please consider subscribing. Um, but also, um, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I actually uh, decided to not use my uh, webcam, at least for my face cam, obviously. I did not um, use my webcam, at least for this video on um, my MacBook. I instead used a 1080p Logitech webcam. So let me know actually how the audio sounds and how the um, sort of like picture quality of this webcam is. Because if you guys say it's good, I mean, I'll continue to use it. But if you guys prefer the 720p webcam of the MacBook and the uh, audio from those microphones, let me know please in the comments below what you guys prefer. Because uh, I'd have to say that with this higher resolution from this Logitech webcam, I think I prefer this a little bit more. But it is kind of a hassle to set up at least, just because this usually sits on my desktop and does not sit on my MacBook. So it was a bit of a harder setup, but yeah, let me know honestly if like what you guys prefer. Do you guys prefer the standard uh, webcam of the MacBook, what I have been doing and with that audio, or do you prefer this webcam with this audio? So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.